forget trying to go viral with flashy AI trends everyone else is already doing. There's a smarter, more sustainable way to build a highly monetizable YouTube channel right now, and it involves leveraging AI in a way most creators haven't even considered. I'm talking about creating long-form, visually minimalist documentaries that essentially hack viewer retention. I found a channel doing this in the extreme environments niche. They have only 33 videos, but have already pulled 15,000 subscribers and 4 million views. How? By creating content designed to be played in the background, often while people relax or even sleep. The visuals are simple. The narration is calm, but the strategy is powerful. High watch time equals massive algorithmic preference. But simply generating AI clips won't cut it. YouTube will demonetize low effort content. So today, I'm giving you the monetizable blueprint, the exact system to create these high retention documentaries using a unique AI workflow that ensures originality and long-term income. So let's jump into making these videos for ourselves. I'll start by getting some video ideas. And if you want to take this a step further, join my community for more information. Instead of manually analyzing competitors in ChatGPT, we're going to use a more powerful tool for data-driven insights, VidIQ. You want to open VidIQ using the link in the description and head to their competitors tool. I'll add the channel we identified earlier, the one doing AI documentaries on harsh environments, as a competitor. VidIQ will now show me their top performing videos, sorted by views or views per hour. This immediately tells me exactly which topics are resonating right now with the audience we want. I can see clear patterns here, videos about Arctic survival and how people lived in these conditions. This is much faster and more accurate than scrolling through YouTube manually. Based on this data, I'll choose a high performing topic that hasn't been completely saturated yet. Let's go with this one. Using VidIQ like this removes the guesswork. We know there's an audience for this topic before we even start creating. With our data validated topic locked in, now we head back to ChatGPT for the script. This isn't just about getting words on a page, it's about crafting a narrative. I'll instruct ChatGPT to write a detailed 1000 word script structured like a short documentary on life on a remote Arctic island. I'll specifically ask for a compelling narrative arc an introduction that sets the scene and establishes the stakes, a body that explores the unique challenges and adaptations of life in this environment, and a conclusion that offers a reflective takeaway. This structure transforms a list of facts into an engaging story. Finally, we create our visual blueprint within ChatGPT. This is where we define the unique aesthetic of our channel. I'll ask ChatGPT to read the script and, for each key scene or concept, aiming for 20 distinct visual moments, generate a prompt for a minimalist black and white illustration with clean lines representing the scene. Why this specific style? It's calm, non-distracting, perfect for viewing in low light, focuses attention on the narration, feels distinct from generic photorealistic AI video. If you want the exact prompts I'm using to achieve this specific look, I've dropped them for free in my Telegram. The link's in the description. Now, a quick note regarding TikTok monetization. Many regions aren't eligible for the creativity program, which can be a major hurdle. To help with this, I offer TikTok accounts. You can find details in the description. With our script and visual prompts ready, it's time to create our assets. First, the visuals. For our unique minimalist style, we'll be using Leonardo.ai. We'll take our first image prompt from ChatGPT, perhaps describing an icebreaker ship navigating frozen seas, and paste it into Leonardo. I'll set the aspect ratio to 16.9 for YouTube. Critically, I'll add negative prompts like color, photorealistic, complex details, shadows, textures, to strictly enforce our clean, illustrative style. Getting the negative prompts right is key to maintaining visual consistency. Okay, the result is perfect. A stark, evocative image that sets the scene. I would repeat this meticulous process for all 20 image prompts, ensuring each image adheres to our defined style guide. Next, the audio. The voiceover is the documentary. It needs to sound authoritative, calm, and engaging, like a classic nature narrator. For this, we'll use Eleven Labs. Head to Eleven Labs using the link in the description. I'll copy our script from ChatGPT and paste it into the Eleven Labs text box. I'll browse the voice library, filtering for a deep, mature male voice with a narration or documentary style. This voice selection is critical. It establishes the credibility and tone of the entire video. 
Before generating, I'll check the voice settings, ensuring a steady, deliberate pace. I'll click generate and download our professional voiceover. Now, still images are good, but adding subtle motion elevates the production value significantly and improves viewer retention. That's why the next step is Kling.ai. Head to Kling using the link in the description. I'll open up Kling.ai and head to the video section. From here, I'll upload our first Leonardo image, the icebreaker. For the motion prompt, I don't want anything dramatic. I'll type something simple like slow, subtle zoom in or gentle panning movement across the scene. The goal is just to prevent the image from feeling completely static, adding a touch of life without being distracting. I'll set the duration to match the corresponding narration section, maybe 10, 15 seconds. Ensure the aspect ratio is 16.9, set the quality to high and hit generate. Kling will add that gentle motion. I'll preview the result, and if it looks smooth, I'll download it. I will repeat this animation process for all 20 of our generated images, ensuring each clip has just enough movement to feel dynamic. Now before we jump into editing, let me pause. You've seen the workflow to create these unique, monetizable videos, but turning this into a real income stream requires consistency, strategy, and problem solving when things inevitably go wrong. That's exactly what I cover inside my private community, Wi-Fi Uni. Inside, I'll walk you through advanced monetization strategies, scaling systems, and you'll connect with other creators doing the same thing. If you're serious about building a real business with this, the link's in the description. Okay, let's finish this video. This is where we bring all the elements together into a polished documentary. We'll open our video editor, CapCut. First, import everything. Our 11 Labs voiceover file, all 20 animated image clips from Kling, and maybe some background music. Here's the professional workflow. We'll start with the audio. Drag your voiceover onto the main timeline. This is the backbone of your video. Now listen through and trim out the dead air. Any significant pauses between sentences. Why? While we want a calm pace overall, unnatural gaps can still hurt retention. Tightening these keeps the flow smooth and professional. Next, we'll find suitable background music. Something atmospheric and ambient works best. Maybe a subtle drone or a minimalist orchestral piece found on Envato Elements or within CapCut's library. I'll add it to a lower audio track and immediately reduce the volume significantly, maybe to 25 or 30 decibels. The music should barely be noticeable, just adding a layer of subtle atmosphere and filling the silence without ever competing with the narration. Now for the visuals. We'll start laying our animated images from Kling on the track above the audio. This part is crucial. We need to cut the images to the audio. Listen to the narration, and every time the speaker introduces a new scene or concept from the script, cut to the corresponding animated image. Use slow, gentle transitions like a two-second cross-dissolve between clips to maintain the calm, documentary feel. Abrupt cuts would be jarring. The slow dissolves reinforce the soothing, almost hypnotic quality we're aiming for. With our story sequence built, we'll add captions. In CapCut, click text, then auto captions. For this style, choose a clean, simple, sans serif font. Style them minimally. Perhaps just white text with a very subtle drop shadow for readability against the black and white visuals. Position them low on the screen so they don't obstruct the main artwork. Finally, the cinematic polish. We'll go to the effects tab and search for black noise. We'll drag it onto the timeline over everything. This adds a subtle, almost imperceptible grain that makes the clean digital illustrations feel a bit more organic and less sterile. Then we'll add an adjustment layer. We can slightly increase the contrast to make the lines sharper and the overall image pop against the background, ensuring clarity even on small screens. Now we export the video in 1080p, and that's the full workflow. The Sahara, a sea of sand stretching over 9 million square kilometers, larger than the entire United States. From the Atlantic shores of Mauritania to the red dunes of Egypt, it is a place of silence, light, and heat. For most of us, the word Sahara evokes one image, a barren wasteland. Join my community if you want to learn how I make a living from a small channel like mine. Bye.